what's up guys um so i made a video the other day about my 10 month update right now let's put my dentures in but anyway um i put it on private because one i don't want you guys to think i'm negative i'm just going through a lot right now and i know that seems like always but um i'm a really positive person and i'm just going through some stuff you know with my dentures and hating them and missing my old teeth to my dog having to give him one. I'm very sad about that. I miss him. Um, and then my aunt passing, which I'm taking way harder than I thought I was going to take because we all knew this was going to happen. And then just so much. My daughter's birthday and her wanting a party, but knowing if I have one... <coughs> It could end up like the parties I've had before where people say they're going to come and nobody shows up. And she's at that age where she'll remember um, when it happened to her a couple years ago. She doesn't even know what happened. But all that money spent, I could have bought her presents or did something else. But she still had a good time. But <clears throat> yeah, I just don't do that anymore. I don't have family like that. And it's sad and it breaks my heart. But um... I don't want you guys to think I'm negative. I just, you know, and I know in the comments somebody had said, you know, it could be worse. I absolutely hate when people say it could be worse because out of all people, I know it could be worse. Um, I've been there. But why is it so bad to want better? I mean, it's not. And I'm not mad at you for saying that. I know you, you meant it in a good way. Like, it could be worse, you know, cheer up. I understand, but coming from somebody who has lived under the bridge and has slept outside and has, you know, almost lost her foot from frostbite, who was out there pregnant, homeless with cervical cancer, and didn't have anybody, I know it can be worse. You know, I know it could be worse. And I'm grateful for everything I have. I'm just going through something right now, and, you know, I like to vent and talk. It's... You know, yeah, my dentures can be great at some times, but they can be shitty at other times. And I just want to share, this is my experience with all of you. So let's put these bad mamma jams in. Show you guys where I put the denture adhesive. Oh, I should have tried my powder. I found powder adhesive and I should have tried it. So let's do that real quick. I'm probably going to put my bottoms in off camera because my son just came in here. But I love you guys for your support. Oh, well, however you're going through, you're going to get through it. Shoes? Your shoes? Shoes? Shoes. Yeah. Thank you. So, yeah. Oh, my God. That's so much. I got to get that disc and figure out how to do it. But I'm scared because I don't want to... I'm gagging on them. I don't want to burn my dentures. But anyway, whatever you're going through, remember you're amazing. And you're going to get through this. And um, just know, you know, I'm here for you. And I guess, you know, I'm just going to have to try to get used to these dentures. Two more months and it will be a year since I've had them. And I really do need to get a reline, but it's it's so hard. It's just so hard. I don't have the money for it right now and... You know, but I am going to drop uh, our birthday wish list from Amazon in the description. So you don't have to get anything for us. I just, I just want my daughter to have a good birthday tomorrow. And uh, presents don't make it though. She's going to have a great day no matter what. And I will make sure of it. Okay, so he ran out. Let's put my bottoms in. <laughs> this is so much glue and they still are loose. You see how much glue I use? That was ridiculously amount. That's what I have to do. I have to use that much. This is the bottom. How much I use? Move it over a little bit. Kind of put it in the middle because if not, it's gonna squish out the set or the front and the back, and it gets all over. Well, let's push them down. They'll good. They'll fall out in an hour. That's how loose they are right now. But I am going to shred this denture um, 
free line. It's actually still in a little pad. But it's kind of thick. It's thicker than what I thought. And I'm really nervous because you have to boil water. And it says not to get it on the denture. Excuse me. But just the plate or the disc. But I'm like, that's going to be hard if you have to put this on the denture. But you can't get the hot water on the denture. I don't know. But we will see. We shall see. Hopefully, it all works out. Anyway, I already said it. You guys are amazing. Whatever you're going through. Yep, they already came loose. You're going to get through this. And I'm going to get through it too. There, this is the powder. I should have tried it. I think I will. Not today, obviously, because I already have a bunch of adhesive on my dancers. Yep, they're loose already. I'm going to be okay. Everything's going to work out. It's going to be fine. Like I said, I do apologize for you guys think I'm negative Nancy. That's just not it. I just want to share with you guys everything and all the emotions I have. And I just want to feel good about me. I do. My little bird lips. I have no lips at all. With yeah. these dinner dentures, it makes it way worse. Ever since somebody said that about my up here, you know, I'm like, that's the one thing I look at now. I don't know. But anyway, y'all stay amazing. And if you can, you know, say a little prayer for us. And like I said, tomorrow's my daughter's birthday. If you guys want to show some love and uh, put in the comments, happy birthday. Mama. She will absolutely love it. Like I said, we don't have family like that. So, you know. If she gets a phone call, she'll be shocked. You know, she'll get a couple. But, you know, it just should be. I don't know. It's not like it used to be when we were kids. But y'all stay amazing. Remember, you're going to get through this. I'm going to get through this. We got this.